Coffee is one of the most beloved beverages in the world, and much of its distinctive flavor and aroma comes from coffee beans. But what makes these small seeds so special? Coffee beans are the fruit of the coffee tree, also known as the coffee plant. The coffee tree is native to Africa but is cultivated worldwide in tropical and subtropical climates. The plant produces small red or yellow fruits known as coffee cherries. Inside these cherries are the coffee seeds, or beans, which are used to prepare the beverage we all love. There are hundreds of coffee bean varieties, each with unique characteristics that influence the taste and aroma of the final brew. The most common varieties are Arabica and Robusta. Arabica coffee beans come from the coffea arabica plant and are known for their more delicate and complex flavor. They are often considered high quality and are grown at high altitudes in countries like Brazil, Colombia, and Ethiopia. Arabicas are appreciated for their fruity and floral notes and light body. Robusta coffee beans come from the coffea conifera plant and are known for their stronger and earthier flavor. They are often used for espresso and are grown in warmer climates like Vietnam, Brazil, and Indonesia. Robustas have a higher caffeine content than Arabicas, contributing to their bold flavor. In addition to the main varieties, there are many other regional variations and specialty coffee bean varieties that offer unique tasting experiences. One of the most critical aspects in creating the flavor of coffee is the roasting of the beans. During the roasting process, the beans are heated to high temperatures, causing a series of chemical reactions that develop their characteristic flavor. Roasting can vary from light to dark, significantly impacting the final taste. Lightly roasted beans retain many of their original characteristics, such as acidity and fruity notes. This roast is common for specialty coffees. Medium roast is the most common and produces coffee with a balance of acidity in body, resulting in a more balanced flavor. Dark roast, this roast produces coffee with a fuller body and a more intense flavor, but it tends to lose some of the original bean characteristics. The choice of roast is a matter of personal preference, and coffee enthusiasts often experiment with different roasts to find the one that suits their taste. After roasting, coffee beans are ground to create ground coffee, which can be used to prepare coffee in a variety of ways, including Espresso, a small amount of ground coffee is compressed in a filter and hot water is forced through it under pressure to create a dense and concentrated beverage. Drip coffee, ground coffee is placed in a paper or permanent filter, and hot water is poured over it, slowly dripping through the filter to create a light and aromatic cup of coffee. Aeropress, ground coffee is mixed with hot water in a plastic chamber and pressed through a filter using manual pressure, producing a coffee similar to espresso. French press, ground coffee is mixed with hot water in a glass or metal carafe, and then filtered by pressing a plunger through the coffee, resulting in a fuller-bodied brew. Coffee preparation is an art in itself, and many coffee lovers dedicate time and energy to perfecting their technique to achieve the best possible flavor. Coffee beans are the foundation of one of the most beloved beverages in the world, and their diversity and complexity contribute to making coffee a shared passion for many people. From its African origins to specialty varieties, from roasting to different brewing methods, the world of coffee beans is vast and fascinating. The next time you enjoy a cup of coffee, take a moment to appreciate the small beans that have made that delightful beverage possible. Whether it's Arabica or Robusta, light or dark roast, coffee is much more than just a drink, it's a passion that connects people all over the world. Do you need beautiful coffee videos for your projects? Life my website. Link in description.